Good morning. Good morning. So the 8.30 service, I had next to no announcements. Something has happened. We're falling into a time warp or something. <laughs> so before I go too far, Ron, you wanted an hour? No. <laughs> you sure? Yes. Okay. Darn. It means I still got to preach, huh? <laughs> So I just wanted to uh, give a quick kind of financial update. Um, we did very well last month, giving was up. Um, and I've been told that the last, um, the application for the PPP loan has been granted. I have not seen the exact amount yet. Uh, yeah, that's Ron, a hooray. Ron, did you say it was? It was. Oh, yeah, it was, it was, gra it was granted. But do, you wanna, do you wanna tell people what that is? Yeah, does everybody know? P so a PPP loan is basically one of these loans that the uh, the government puts out uh, to help small businesses that are affected by this COVID. This is the second uh, batch. We got one previously. This is our second one. We, Because we rolled our, uh, it's basically a, to cover lo uh, payroll. Payroll basically. protection plan. Yeah, payroll protection plan. Um, anyway, the, because we rolled um, the, the school staff in with ours, which is appropriate, we met the criteria. Um, many, many, many thanks to Kathy Blyton for putting all of the, uh, the paperwork together and suffering through um, the, the website we have to go through. Yeah. So that's that's very very good news. But I really wanted to say thank you to everybody for uh, for uh, for remembering the church and it's kind of time of need. So. Thank you very, very much for all the giving this last month. We're doing better financially. That's a, that's wonderful news. Um, the other thing is, um, I've been cooking. There's there's food in the back. In a so in the back, there's a little little container back there with frozen food. There's you've got a choice of chicken thighs with roast potatoes, uh, chicken breast with roast potatoes, pot roast, or pulled pork. Okay, I don't want to take any of it home. So <laughs> take some on the way out because I gotta make space. I gotta make some more pulled pork. Is this gonna be a weekly thing? Yeah. <laughs> you bet. He is. He's been bringing food in here left and right. <laughs> I can tell you that food is really good too. <laughs> we'll take some. Let uh, Lori, if you want to take some more food. Go ahead. Big up, Lori. Can you hear you? Can you get up there? Go up there, Lori. Can you hear you? Possibly. Use the mic. Nice and loud. Girl Scout cookie! Woo! I'm done. Should we be sending out an email? Uh, and payment can be done electronically and they can be delivered to your doorstep. So I'm out of your box. COVID dishes. Like five, I think. Yeah, five, five, you think? They are five. Yeah, yeah you should okay. worry. If we give you four pictures, is that good? <laughs> I don't know, Girl Scout cookies might be the most important announcement. <laughs> yeah. That's a, talk about a morale boost. I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't compete with that. Um, immediately following this service, those who are interested and brave enough or whatever, we'll be gathering by the garden. To bless it because they are ready to start putting live things in it and they don't want me near it with the live thing so they want me to do my little trick beforehand because anything that's alive plant-wise that i touch is a goner so i think the timing's beautiful with it freeze is gone i was walking in my neighborhood with my dog and I was actually kind of depressed at the level of brown in people's their, their flower beds I hope some of those roots run deep, but I'm looking at a lot of people, 
and they got some. I don't have big flower beds, so I don't have a yard work. But I was watching, I was amazed at how many plants appear to be dead. And I really hope that they start coming back. Because it wasn't just in the flower beds, it's on my walk on the green belts as well. But anyways, me following the service will be a blessing of the garden out back. So everybody's invited to that. Your mask on, social distance and all that. But even more, we have a world premiere video <laughs> done by our expert. I, I came up with it. He agreed with me. His dream job, if you're not, if you didn't pay attention, you missed it. NASA landed Perseverance, another Mars rover on Mars. This thing's really cool. It has its own drone. I don't know how they manage it with the commands or anything, but Dave Mann wants to handle that drone. Amen. <laughs> In practicing for it, he prepared the world premiere video that we're going to show right now. Understood that there was no time lapse photography in that. <laughs> Is that correct? Yeah, that was real time. <laughs> Dave, how high can that thing go? Uh, well, I really shouldn't say. <laughs> you can tell me, but you have to kill me? Yeah, yeah. About, about 8,000 feet. If you, you can still maintain control? <laughs> yeah, you don't want that around the airport. So anyways, we'll be blessing the garden immediately following the service. So. But before that, and I believe more important, we gather to worship. We gather together. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the gifts you shower upon us. Gifts of friends and family, of laughter, of food, of gardens, children, yes, of Girl Scout cookies. We thank you as we sit in your blessings, as we come together at this time and this place to worship you, O oh God. Help us to focus for just a little bit on you, to reflect on your law of love, to be in your presence, to open ourselves to your transforming work. Loving God, help us to feel your presence here and now. 
All these things we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Friends, it is a great day when we gather in the presence of our Lord. Let us worship God. So many things. We need them for the very food we eat, the air we breathe. We need them for life. But we need God also for mercy. For only the perfect don't call on God. And that's not us, my friends. But we all fall short. Let us come before our Lord in prayer, confessing our sins freely, that we may receive God's mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the heavens and the earth, giver of all good things, including life. What a gift life is. And with it, you have given us free will, the freedom to love one another, to seek you out, to embrace our neighbors, the freedom to feed the hungry and clothe the cold and befriend the prisoner. Oh God, how we have mishandled that freedom. How we have freely turned away from you. How we have freely neglected the children. How we have freely denied food to the hungry. How we have averted our gaze from the least 
the lost and the last. How we have freely sinned, O oh God. The choices, despite our best efforts we make, are often the wrong ones. We hear your word, O oh God, and we ignore it. Choosing our rights and our freedoms for self-serving purposes. Loving God, each of us, in the past days, weeks, and months, have failed to do what we should and done what we shouldn't. We ask that you hear us now as we silently offer up our sins to you, that they may be wiped away and we may receive your mercy. Hear us now, O oh God, in the silence. Lord Jesus, you have heard us in the openness and honesty of our hearts. We confess our wrongs. We ask for your mercy that we may receive the gift of forgiveness. In your most precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Friends, we all make mistakes and we bear the weight of a guilty conscience. Christ was born, lived, died, and rose again, that that burden may be lifted. My friends, in Christ Jesus, our sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. As God has forgiven us in Christ, let's forgive one another. As we seek to be an inclusive community built on God's wisdom, peace, love, mercy, and shalom, let us greet one another with the peace of Christ be with you. And from our seats and gently, the response is, and also with you. My friends, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Peace of Christ be with you. 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 Would anybody like to say peace of Christ to the people who are watching the video? Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Did you get Dave Mann's drone in here? You can get a drone shot in here. Yeah. See how good his maneuvering skills are around the screens. Let us pray. Loving God, we come to hear your word proclaimed. Words handed down through the ages from one generation to the next. As relevant yesterday and today and tomorrow as ever. Holy Spirit, may you etch these words on our hearts. May your transforming work begin and continue. May we be people of the book, your children. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from the book of Genesis, all the way back. Chapter 17. Hear the word of the Lord. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell face down and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. God also said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. 
I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. <clears throat>